because if you listen to that music as against the one we've just been singing, you'll see an enormous sea change. Well, the last one, uh, on the uh, back of your sheet, oh, this is one of the issues hymns. Um, because one of the modern things that's happened to hymnology is that people are consciously and intentionally <coughs> writing about some of the big things that go on in our society. Do you remember how the first hymn concentrates pretty much on theology? This one concentrates on the environment. And it came out as an extraordinary request that I got from the National Council of Churches of New Zealand. Would I please write a hymn about the contextualization of theology in Aotearoa New Zealand, which doesn't go in a hymn at all. <laughs> the Ecology. It was written in 2000 for the millennium uh, changeover, uh, in, written in 1996 actually, and uh, put into a book in 2000. Its tune name is Kaikoura because I'd just gone out to see the whales and I couldn't get out of my head the sound of the sea. Uh, and the big movements of these wonderful creatures. So it's an attempt to sing in New Zealand terms about our world, miles away from the German world which, uh, in which Martin Rinkert was working. Well, if you don't know this one, you better follow the choir, but you'll soon pick it up, I'm quite sure. <coughs> and uh, let's see if we can manage these hills where the hawk flies lonely, an image which of course came from central Otago.